P is equal to D plus R E minus D whole divided by cost of equity and a complete whole divided by cost of equity. Out of 20 rupees dividend, we have to consider 50%. How to calculate? Remember, 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.10. You will get 1. If you go with 0% dividend ratio, it will be 600. A warm welcome to one and all, this is your Adasa here. Lecture in Vidyashram, First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session 2 of your topic called Financial Management and we are discussing the topic Dividend Decision. Now, in today's session what we are going to discuss. In the previous session we went with all the basic topic and today we will discuss about your Walters model. Now, we'll go for the next slide for agenda. The agenda is very simple. One is concept, other one will be problem. Under problem, the following information is available in respect of the firm where cost of equity is 10%. How much you have to pay? 10% is your cost. Now, your equity is the value is 50. The rate of return is 12%, 8% and 10%. There are three types. One will be rate of return 12, 8 as well as 10. Show the effect of dividend policy on market price of share applying workers approach when dividend is 0%, 20%, 40, 80 and 100. If your dividend payout percentage is 0, 20, 40, 80% and finally 100%. Now, we'll go one by one. If your rate is 12%, return, return is 12%, your equity value is 50 and cost of equity is 10%. Now, dividend payout ratio, how much we consider? We consider 0 now. What will be your answer now? So P is equal to D plus R E minus D. In this, what happens now? P is equal to D plus R E minus D whole divided by cost of equity and a complete whole divided by cost of equity. Now, your cost of equity, we know that it is 10%. So it will be how much? 0 0.10, 0 0.10. Now, after this, after this, your D is equal to what? Your dividend payout ratio is 0. So we have taken 0 and your R is equal to 12%. So what is the rate of return? 12%. Now, 50, your equity value is 50 minus is there any dividend or something? No, it is 0. So it will be 0. And if you calculate 0 0.12 divided by 0 0.10, and 50 minus 0, if you do all calculation, you will get 600 rupees. Hope you are clear. Now, in this cost of equity, it must be 0 0.10. If you go for dividend payout ratio 0%, how much you will get? You will get 600 rupees. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, the same thing, but dividend payout ratio, how much we will take? 20%. What is the dividend payout ratio? 20%. I'll go back to question. First one is 0%. Second one is 20%. Now, in this what happens? Your This will be 10 and this will be 0 0.12. 12%. 50 minus 10 and whole divided by 10 and divided by 10. Why we have taken 10 means? half of the dividend payout ratio, half of the dividend payout ratio. What is the dividend payout ratio? Your dividend payout ratio is 20%. Now, out of 20%, we have to take this 20. In this, we have to consider 50%. Now, out of 20 rupees dividend, we have to consider 50%. What is the 50% of 20%? It will be 10. Now. So 5 multiplied with 20 divided by 100, divided by 100 in the sense 20% we can also call it as 20 divided by 100. Now 
So after doing this calculation, you will get your payout money is 580. Now, again, compare with your previous slide, like if you go for dividend payout ratio of 0%, your answer will be 600. Now, if you go for your dividend payout ratio of 20%, your value will be 580 rupees. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, now we go for the next one. Again, I'll go back to your question. As per the question, 0% we completed, 20% over, and the next one will be 40%. What is the next one? 40%. Now, in this 40%, we do the same calculation. What is the calculation? What is the half of the 40? It is 20. Now, see we have taken 20, 0 0.12, 12%. Your return divided by cost of equity, divided by cost of equity, 50 minus 20, it will be 30. Now, so total, what is the value? 560 is the value. Hope you are clear. It is the easiest one. Apply the formula and take. Now, you are, we are done with your 40% actually. What is the next one? 80%. So how much we should consider? 40, half of the 80 now, if you go with this, dividend payout ratio is 80%. 40, 0 0.12 divided by 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.10. 50 minus 40, your answer is 520. Hope you are clear. So, now, we go with the actual one. We got 600, 580, we got 560. And we got 520. These are the answers we got. Now, as per this, if you go with 0% dividend ratio, it will be 600. If you go with 20%, this answer. If you go with 40%, this answer. If you go with 80%, these are the answers. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, we'll go with the last one, that is 100%. I'll go back to that. So, this is 100%. Half of this is how much? 50%. Half of this is how much? 50%. Now, we'll go for this. Now, if you go with 100, 50 minus 50, it will be 0. And calculate your 50 dividend thing, your return is 12%, cost of equity 10%, again cost of equity 10%. If you go with this, your answer is 500. Now, I'll go back to this. So it will be how much? 100% and it will be how much? 500. If your dividend payout ratio is higher, your value of P will be lesser. Now, so we're done with all the calculation. Now we'll go with this. So in this, we completed all the 0, 20, 40, 80, and 100 percent we completed. And what is the equity? Equity we have taken. Your return we have taken 12 percent. All the calculation what we did, that is for 12 percent. Hope you are clear. Now, now the same thing we go with. 8%. We're done with 12% and the same calculation in your shortcut will go for 8%. Now, what is the shortcut? Same thing will go 0% dividend, 20%, 40%, 80%, 100%. Now, what is the rate of return we consider? 8%, 8%, 8%, 8%, 8%, 8%. And what is the equity we consider? It is 10%, 10, 10, 10, and 10%. After doing all this calculation, divide or multiply. So divide by 0 0.10, divide by 0 0.10, divide by 0 0.10, and divide by 0 0.10, divide by 0 0.10. If you do this calculation, you will get 480, 420, 420 440, 480 and 500. These are the calculations you will get. I'll cross check this once. 
So your answer will be, so we have 50 minus 0, you will get 50 only, 0 0.08, 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.10, I got 0 0.8, then multiplied with 50, I got 4, 40 divided by 0 0.10. One zero. So the answer must be 400. It is not 420. This must be 400. Your answer is 400, 420, 440, 480. And the last answer is 500. Now, what we have done is we have done for 8% return. Now, see, I'll show you once again. All the calculation we did for 12%, it is over. In the table, we did calculation for 8%. Now it is over. So next calculation will be, it is for 10% now. So everything we have taken for 10%, 10%, 10 and 10%. Now, your dividend payout ratio is 0. Half of the 20 is will be 10. Half of the 40 will be 20. Half of the 80 will be 40. Half of the 100 will be 50. Hope you are clear. Now, if you go with this one, 0% dividend payout ratio, 20% dividend payout ratio, 40%, 80%, and the last one, 100% dividend payout ratio. Now, if you go with this calculation, see, everywhere we get answer of 500. Everywhere we get answer of 500. Why? Because how to calculate, remember, 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.10. You will get 1. 1 into 50. How much you will get? 50. 50 plus 0, 50. Divided by 0 0.10, your answer is 500. Now, I'll show you how to calculate this. If you have confusion, first you calculate 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.10. This is the first calculation. What is the second calculation? After you are getting, what answer you will get? You will get answer of 1. Now, so this 1 multiplied with 50 minus 0. So what you will get answer? You will get answer of 50. What is the third one? The third one is, after getting this, add with this, add with this. So in this, what happens? 50 plus 0 in this third one, 50 plus 0, it is 50 only. And the fourth one, after doing this, divide by 0 0.10. 50 divided by 0 0.10, your answer is 500. Like this, you are supposed to do. Hope you are clear. Your calculation, this divide by this, then multiply with this. Then you add with this, then you divide with this. Hope you are clear. Yes. If you go for these things, your dividend payout ratio everywhere, you will get 500, 500, 5, 5, 5. Everywhere you will get 500 rupees. Hope you are clear. And this is all calculation we have done for return 10%. This is all calculation we have done for return 8% and the previous calculation we have done for return 12% I'll mention that return 12% return 12% return 12% return 12% yes see 8% we have done in the table same thing we have done one by one, no changes in this. Even 12% also, you can do it in the table only like this. Hope you're clear. Yes, I'll go back to all these slides. Please take screenshot. This will be your question. Your solution part one, solution part two, part three, next part, 8% calculation. Again, 10% calculation. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Please work out at home without fail. Thank you.